This is LEGO Star Wars Magazine, issue 112, released in Spain in August 2024. In this video, I'm going to flick through the magazine, open the paper bag, look at the minifigure, and try to work out which minifigure will come with which magazine, where you live, and when. And just to be clear, the UK issue 112 was released in Spain as 111 last month. Confusing this is! The front of the magazine's got a classic Yoda minifigure, as well as a preview of some of the inside content. The inside front cover has a picture from the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack, which ties in nicely with the included minifigure. The first story is Planet in Ruins, featuring Count Dooku, Obi-Wan and Yoda, in a colourful adventure with their lightsabers always to hand. of the magazine there is the usual two-sided poster. The first is One with Force showing Anakin and Obi-Wan and on the reverse an epic 25 years of Lego Star Wars poster showing Luke and Obi-Wan on Tatooine overshadowed with the Imperial Forces and the Rebel Alliance. I think this is one of the best posters we've had with the magazine. The first activity in the magazine is Problems in Persana where Rey faces the First Order in a really interesting two-player game. along with the usual combination of code breakers, mazes and logical puzzles. This puzzle shows Kylo Ren trying to complete a Lego bridge, which is really great for young creators. Unfortunately, the second comic strip is a very strange one. I don't know if it was inspired by the Euros, but it shows Chancellor Palpatine and Yoda watching a game of football with the 501st and the 212th competing. At the end of the magazine, there's a preview of next month's issue 113 in Spain, but we'll look at that in more detail later in the video. And now let's open the paper bag. Lego set 912409, a phase 2 clone trooper. Inside the paper bag we have a standard Star Wars blaster and the four part clone trooper that came with the clone trooper and battle droid battle pack released in 2024. And yes, there are helmet holes. And here's the clone trooper in all its glory. Despite the helmet holes, I think this is a solid minifigure. Clamp it down and add it to the list. So the question is, should you buy this magazine for the clone trooper? If you collect the paper bags like me, then you'll buy the magazine for the paper bag anyway. But what if you're an army builder? The clone trooper minifigure SW1319 is only available with the magazine or in the clone trooper and battle droid battle pack. But what a battle pack it is. You get a shock trooper and three phase two clone troopers, two battle droids and three super battle droids, a stap speeder and defensive post, along with a speeder bike and tri-droid, which gives us a total of 176 parts, 4 minifigs and 5 droids, which, when you look at the price you can pay for the set, is a good deal. Mm, a bargain, I see. So if you're an army builder, I think the battle pack is the best way to go. And if you're a collector of paper bags, then pick one of these up too. Will you be buying the paper bag to build your army? Or will you be sticking with the battle pack? Let me know in the comments below. Before we get to the preview of the next issue, if you found the video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're interested in similar videos, please consider subscribing to the channel because it really helps me out. Thank you. 
And now let's talk about next month's issue. The easy part is to tell you that if you live in Europe, the next issue is number 113 and comes with the TIE Fighter Pilot, which looks to be SW1260, the female TIE Fighter Pilot, but that can't be confirmed until we actually get the paperback. Assuming this is the correct minifigure, it's currently available in two sets, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter and TIE Interceptor, and the newer set, the TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup. I'm hoping this is the correct minifigure, as I don't have the Mandalorian Fang Fighter set, and I can't see me buying any of the Rebuild the Galaxy sets, so let's hope. The TIE Fighter Pilot issue will be released on the 6th of September in Germany and Spain and other parts of Europe, and in the UK you will get issue 113 on the 11th of September. At the time of recording this video, I don't know what the UK issue 113 will come with, but as soon as I do, I'll add it in the comments below. It will be interesting to see which minifigure you get in the UK. At the moment, it looks like Germany has missed out on the Sabine Wren minifigure that the UK is getting in August. If you're interested in the Sabine Wren issue, you can check out my video here. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Thank you.